Welcome to part six of Mega Man X, and Vile has cornered Mega Man and captured him. But he's managed to break free, just like Zero. What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. Luckily, Vile is a lot weaker than he is in his giant mech form, in that he's actually beatable. <laughs> So he's weak against two things, actually. You can either use the rolling shield, or you can use the shotgun ice. And, uh, I would recommend using the rolling shield, unlike me. I made a stupid decision to waste, uh, shotgun ice. Because, uh, the upcoming boss is also weak against the ice. And, uh, we would want to save that. But rolling shield is the way to go. He loves to shoot in midair, and he shoots these lasers that go along the ground. Uh, if you just watch where he's shooting and watch the floor, you should be able to dodge it, no problem. Vile isn't much of a much of a struggle at all. Oh dear. X, I've taken too much damage. Auto repair systems can't handle it. <laughs> well, you are missing your legs. I doubt you could. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. No, Zero! No! I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, Zero is dead. But, uh... Maybe one day he'll come back. I don't know why. It's a kooky, crazy video game if he did, right? <laughs> Anywho. We're going to continue on through Sigma's Fortress, which... Uh... Also, Zero, if he dies and you didn't get the X-Buster upgrade from Dr. Light, he would actually give you his X-Buster, which... Uh, or his Zero Buster, or whatever the hell it's called. And basically it has the same effects as the X-Buster, and then if you go back to the X-Buster capsule, it won't be there again. So it's weird, but uh, basically the only reason Zero gives you it is because it really helps to have that supercharged Mega Buster for this section of the game. Using either a charged up rolling shield to protect yourself, or a charged up Sting Chameleon. Sting Chameleon's what I should have done from the get-go, because Sting Chameleon keeps you invulnerable from everything for a short period of time, not just uh, getting hit. That was Boomer Karanger, and uh, we have to fight all the robot masters just like the classic series all over again. Just like the original Mega Man 1 though, they're not in the same room, so we're going to have to keep running into them along the way. And it's also like Mega Man in base, but uh, yeah. Sigma's Fortress is four levels long, and we're only in the first one, so it's going to be a long trek before we uh, beat this thing. But now it's time to meet the boss of Sigma-1, who is weak against the shotgun ice, most of which I wasted on Vile. Again, use Rolling Shield on Vile, it's so much better. In, a con in retrospect, actually. Alright, so this mechanical spider loves to come down, and uh, wires will pop out, and he'll always cross the wire. If he comes to a, a line, he will cross it. So you have to really look at the line, see where he's going to fall, if you see a spot you know he's definitely not going to land in, then stick to that. And uh, his eye only opens up when he touches the ground. You can't shoot him in midair, so you're going to have to wait till he hits down. Then shoot your either shotgun ice or your X-Buster or whatever. Don't take pellet shots, otherwise this fight will last... Oh, ten hours? <laughs> I'm just estimating, but... Yeah. Other than that, though, the spider is pretty easy to fight. Occasionally, he'll shoot these little mini spiders to come out, and uh, they'll cover the ground and then walk up the walls, and those can be really annoying because you can't really dodge them well. Not to mention the giant-ass spider moving all over the background. So it takes a lot of good hand-to-eye coordination, but uh, you can also kill him with a Hadouken if you got it. Not that I would recommend that, because then you're a pussy. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, you're, you're a pussy if you use the Hadouken. It's just the law, you know, the law. I don't know what I'm saying, but regardless, the Mecha Spider is dead, and uh, I barely took any damage. Usually he spawns those mini spiders a lot more often, I don't know what happened there. Booyah! The great thing about Sigma's Fortresses, which I don't mind when it comes to the X-Series, I always mind it with the with the Classic Series, 
but not the X series, because the X series is significantly harder than the classic series, but uh, in between each level you can always go back to the shop, or not the shop, but you can always go back to a, a different stage and farm some sub-tank energy or farm some uh, lives, and you'll get all of your uh, your weapon energy back when you start the next level, which is always great. Fantastic, even. Damn Robot Masters, always showing up where you don't want them. Good old mechs. Also, another thing I forgot to mention about the mechs, they can actually walk on spikes, so, uh... Not that it matters, I think this is the only area with spikes that a mech can go, but... <laughs> now you know! Useful knowledge! Because knowledge is power! Or something like that. I never watched the G.I. Joe cartoon when I was a kid. Sorry. I was more into a Power Rangers type deal. But I digress. Uh, this place... Again, Sting Chameleon's charged up shot where you're invincible for a short period of time. I would use it well because it is especially great getting past these stupid, stupid vertical hallways where enemies just respawn out of nowhere. I hate when they respawn way too quickly. It's so annoying. But anywho, uh, and try not to waste too much uh, Sting Chameleon Missile as well though, because the end boss of Sigma 2 is weak against Sting Chameleon's weapon, and uh, you're gonna want it, believe me. When the, the bosses in the Sigma's Fortress are surprisingly difficult if you don't have their weaknesses. The spider was okay, but the one coming up is pretty freaking brutal, and I don't like to fight it otherwise, unless I have its, weak its special weakness. So let's get into the boss of Sigma 2. Sigma 2 appears to be a giant face in a room. I don't know what practical use this thing was designed for, but okay. He has these two jewel eyes, and depending on what color they are, they'll do a different move. And he also has the nose, which only comes out and attacks you when the walls come in. And you have to stay on the walls, because again, spikes are instant kill. You do not want to fall on them. However, don't do what I did twice in this playthrough. Oi. <laughs> well, don't die, obviously, but uh, don't kill the nose before you kill the eyes, because the problem with killing the nose before you kill the eyes, the walls don't go back in. So, when you kill the nose, the walls are still there for some fucking reason, and the eyes are barely visible, and, you know, it's really hard to shoot them when the walls are there. But just keep sting chameleon them. Sting chameleon. <laughs> How's that for a verb? I'm gonna chameleon that bitch! But yeah, you wanna kill the nose last. If you do not kill the nose last, this is what you're gonna have to do. You're just gonna have to bounce left and right, shooting wildly, trying to hope you might get it. But don't worry, when the boss is over, the spikes will just disappear, because apparently Sigma is very merciful. Well, he beat it. I might as well let him live. Why not? And that's Sigma 2. But now it's time for Sigma 3. And Sigma 3 is where the majority of the robot mavericks are hanging out. So, uh, you know. Be sure to waste your abilities well. Didn't even get touched when I fought Armadillo that time. I don't know how. It just happened. Okay then. <laughs> I'll take it. Whatever. Also, make sure you have sub tanks. You really want sub-tanks for the end of this game, because the final boss is not a pushover. Anyway folks, we will be encountering the final boss in part 7. See you then.